Now this is sort of a uh, mixed bag. Um, and I've, I've tried to, uh, well, I openly communicated this through the servers. Um, and and this tied directly to something that, uh, that Jamie Phillips talked about in one of the posts that he put up on my Facebook feed, um, particularly as it relates to living in the now, you know, the completion of the speed at which we complete a circuit, the metabolic rate of speed, metabolites. But here's an example. When he talked about establishing gyrodome groups and the importance of that, actually, those that are running the Aurora gyrodomes. Okay, I'm one of those. That's why I'm here on the Big Island. Okay, working with the sun every day, anchored to the magnetosphere. Hollow. Solar hollow, echo, the echo, the echo, of echo, the God worlds, pure as it gets. And um, the importance of that. Now, here's another little encrypted way that you could sort of translate this. Remember the movie called Terminator Rise of the Machines? Remember how one of the Terminators was trying to protect John? John is the gyrodome. That's a message encrypted in Jamie's remarks. And somebody else made mention of that same kind of remark. And he guess who that is? The MCEO Freedom Teachings Network. Ashiana Dian talked about that. So do you think that it is a coincidence that does Ashia actually know on a personal, intimate level, Jamie Phillips, and yet they're both sort of talking the same language? Gyrodom technology. Right? Monads, open door one. And so I'll, I'll give you a, a bit of a, like open a little door because I deal with this with the property owner because of what he's held captive to that I'm not held captive to, but I have a relationship with him. Here's a good example. Remember I talked about before about reaction states between non-polarized. I'm not experiencing any density. I'm not experiencing any dimension. Zero degrees of separation from the first spirit with the first eternal Christic star. Cristala, Jadonaya. And then I go down to an ATM just to see what the number looks like. What's your reaction state? So I put it out there to everybody else that's got a bank account. That's held captive to the money system, the origin of the money system. If you go to look at that number, you can start cell monitoring yourself as to your own reaction states of what you already know, what you're held captive to in reactive memory. Between past, present, and future moments. When you see that number, which is a mathematical number, as a mathematical operator, right? Between multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, between two planetary magnets, what is your reaction when you look at that number? Does it cause a reversal spin? If it does, then you know what you're held captive to. The Metatronic, reversal spin. And that's the message in what Jamie Phillips is trying to talk about in being with gyrodomes that are not held captive. Being in the 300. A CQ that is running 300 is running with mom. That's a creative quotient potential of 300. Three placeholders, three spheres logos. Creative quotient, the electrical potential of our creative quotient. That's what scares them. That was the driving force, okay, of magnet spinning, splitting technology and the integration of the Metatronic spiral. That's right. And how those spirals have a relationship with each other. They're not compatible. Thus, gyrodomes. So this is why when, I've shown this before. See, I send the property owner 500 bucks. Okay. And yet, he'll send me in my visual display, okay, a number. Right? So it's all about the numbers, which is the visual display, which has to do with the torque speed, the reversal spin. When I see a number... So the property owner is held captive by the number because his own mind's energy is held captive by the system itself. So what I do is I expose it. So when I expose it, 
the subconscious reactive memory of what they're held captive to. Now I have to consider what his reaction is going to be when I tell him the truth of what he's held captive by. Now I'm back to four years of age. Alcoholics Anonymous, you got to be 100% truthful. Ah, but if we share the truth, you can't handle the truth. If I already know what the reaction state is going to be, is a reversal reaction, a reversal spin. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Even though it's the truth. Even though it's the truth. So I'm, I'm, I'm hiding the truth. Because am I living in fear of sharing that truth with him because of what his reaction might be? And if his reaction is a negative reversal spin, now I'm experiencing reversal spin in me. How these spirals are held captive by each other that have a relationship with each other. Push and pull. Tugging on the original spiral. You're coming with me. I need your energy. Because without you, I don't exist. The Metatronic spiral does not exist unless I got a source to siphon that energy off to run the Graviton technology. The Poison Apple, remember? Disney, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Checkmate, Seven Moves. Remember the little black hood? That they, they painted as the Wicked Witch of, what is it, the East or the West? Had a green face, like a green apple. And that little red poison apple. The red and the black. With the green. Like green dragons, maybe. It's all good, isn't it? It all gets exposed. And what happens when everything gets exposed, they can't lie anymore and get away with it. Right? So this is where being a witness to compassion and empathy and being highly sensitive to what the reaction is going to state is going to dictate my communication with the property owner. Actually, everyone. Right? Even though when I tell the truth and I share this stuff on my videos, I have no idea who's ever going to watch anything that I put up on my channel and what their reaction state is going to be. I simply share what I experience, which is what the truth is, because I don't live in fear of expressing what I've experienced by virtue of what I learned through that experience at the completion of every circuit. That's how it works. Magnetic circuits, the speed, say the processing and the recorded memories therein. The evolution of consciousness and our ability to live in a state of peace with each other, with other cells in our mirror. Yeah. So thank you, Jamie. What a breath of fresh air you've been.